Have you ever felt like you're drowning in credit card debt? Like no matter how much you pay, the balance never seems to go down? If you answered yes, then you're not alone. Millions of Americans are struggling with high interest credit card debt, and it can take a toll on your finances, your mental health, and your quality of life. But what if I told you there's a way to get out of credit card debt faster, easier, and cheaper than you ever thought possible? A way to save thousands of dollars in interest, lower your monthly payments, and become debt-free in as little as 24 to 48 months. Sounds too good to be true, right? But before we dive into the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video on how to make money online, how to take care of your finances, and live your best life. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Well, it's not. It's called a debt consolidation loan, and it's your get out of debt card. A debt consolidation loan is a type of personal loan that allows you to combine all your credit card debts into one single loan with a lower interest rate and a fixed repayment term. This way, you only have to make one monthly payment instead of multiple, and you can pay off your debt faster and easier. But how does it work, and how can you get one? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'll explain the benefits of debt consolidation loans, the requirements to qualify, and the best places to get one. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to decide if a debt consolidation loan is right for you and how to apply for one today. So, if you're ready to get out of credit card debt once and for all, then keep watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on personal finance, saving money, and getting out of debt. So, what is a debt consolidation loan? A debt consolidation loan is a type of personal loan that allows you to pay off all your existing credit card debts with one single loan. Instead of having multiple credit card balances, with different interest rates and due dates. You'll have one loan balance with one interest rate and one monthly payment. This can help you in several ways. First, you can save money on interest. Credit cards typically have high interest rates, ranging from 15% to 25% or more. A debt consolidation loan can have a much lower interest rate depending on your credit score and the loan amount. For example, if you have $10,000 in credit card debt at an average interest rate of 20%, you'll pay $2,000 in interest per year. But if you get a debt consolidation loan at 10% interest, you'll only pay $1,000 in interest per year. That's a savings of $1,000. Second, you can lower your monthly payments. By consolidating your credit card debts into one loan, you can extend the repayment term and reduce the amount you pay each month. For example, if you have $10,000 in credit card debt and you pay $500 per month, it will take you 24 months to pay it off. But if you get a debt consolidation loan with a 48-month term and a 10% interest rate, you'll only pay $253 per month. That's a reduction of $247. Third, you can improve your credit score. By paying off your credit card balances, you'll lower your credit utilization ratio, which is the percentage of your available credit that you're using. This is one of the most important factors in your credit score calculation, the lower your credit utilization ratio, the better your credit score. For example, if you have $10,000 in credit card debt and $20,000 in total credit limit, your credit utilization ratio is 50%. But if you pay off your credit card debt with a debt consolidation loan, your credit utilization ratio will drop to 0%. 
This can boost your credit score significantly. So how can you apply for a debt consolidation loan? The process is simple and straightforward. You just need to follow these steps. First, check your credit score. Your credit score will determine your eligibility and interest rate for a debt consolidation loan. You can check your credit score for free on sites like Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, or Nerd Wallet. Ideally, you want to have a good or excellent credit score, which is 670 or above. If your credit score is lower, you may still qualify for a debt consolidation loan, but you'll likely pay a higher interest rate. Second, compare lenders and offers. There are many lenders that offer debt consolidation loans, such as banks, credit unions, online lenders, and peer-to-peer -peer platforms. You can compare their rates, terms, fees, and customer reviews on sites like LendingTree, Bankrate, or NerdWallet. You can also use online calculators to estimate your monthly payments and total interest costs. You should shop around and compare at least three to five lenders before applying for a debt consolidation loan. Third, choose the best loan for you. Once you've compared different lenders and offers, you should choose the one that best suits your needs and budget. You should consider the following factors when choosing a debt consolidation loan. Interest rate. The lower the interest rate, the less you'll pay in interest over the life of the loan. You should look for a fixed interest rate, which means it won't change during the loan term. You should also avoid variable interest rates, which can fluctuate depending on market conditions and increase your monthly payments. Loan amount. The loan amount should be enough to cover all your credit card debts, but not more than you need. You should avoid borrowing more than you can afford to repay as this can increase your debt and interest costs. You should also avoid borrowing less than you need, as this can leave you with some credit card balances that you'll still have to pay off. Loan term. The loan term is the length of time you have to repay the loan. The longer the loan term, the lower your monthly payments, but the higher your total interest costs. The shorter the loan term, the higher your monthly payments, but the lower your total interest costs. You should choose a loan term that balances your monthly payments and interest costs and that fits your budget and financial goals. Fees. Some lenders may charge fees for a debt consolidation loan, such as origination fees, prepayment fees, late fees or penalty fees. You should look for a lender that charges minimal or no fees, as this can reduce your overall loan costs. You should also avoid lenders that charge hidden or excessive fees, as this can increase your loan costs and lower your savings. Customer service. You should choose a lender that has a good reputation and a high customer satisfaction rating. You should also look for a lender that offers online access flexible payment options, and helpful customer support. You should avoid lenders that have poor reviews, complaints, or lawsuits, as this can indicate a lack of trustworthiness and reliability. Four, apply for the loan. Once you've chosen the best loan for you, you can apply for it online or in person you'll need to provide some personal and financial information, such as your name, address, income, employment, and credit history. You may also need to provide some documents, such as your ID, bank statements, pay stubs, and credit card statements. The lender will then review your application and perform a credit check, which may affect your credit score slightly. If you're approved, you'll receive a loan offer with the final terms and conditions. You should review the offer carefully and make sure you understand and agree with everything before signing it.
If you have any questions or concerns, you should contact the lender and ask for clarification. Five, receive the funds and pay off your credit cards. After you've signed the loan offer, the lender will transfer the funds to your bank account, usually within one to five business days. You can then use the funds to pay off all your credit card debts in full. You should do this as soon as possible as this will stop the accrual of interest and fees on your credit cards. You should also close your credit card accounts or cut up your credit cards as this will prevent you from using them again and accumulating more debt. You should keep one or two credit cards for emergencies or occasional use, but you should pay them off in full every month and avoid carrying a balance. And that's it. You've successfully applied for a debt consolidation loan and paid off all your credit card debts. Now, you only have one loan to repay with a lower interest rate and a fixed monthly payment. This will make your debt management easier and simpler and help you save money and time. You'll also improve your credit score and your financial health and enjoy a stress-free and debt-free life. So, that's how I got out of credit card debt with a debt consolidation loan. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos on personal finance, where I share tips and tricks on how to make money online, save money, and achieve your financial goals. You can find the links to some of my best videos in the description box below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.